like, this is it. This is it. had an earthquake here in New York City today and the thing is I felt it too so I was like about to use the bathroom literally about to use the bathroom sit on the toilet and then I was like this and then I felt it and I was like I got up I'm like I was like wait it's time like it's time I said like this is happening and then Abel was on his, like, Fajor bouncer right there. He was watching Miss Rachel because I was about to shower and, you know, get situated. And he was just there, like, nothing. But I was, like, I came to the window. I was, like, there was no trucks passing by. It was, like, regular outside. I was, like, I was thinking about the, the building that collapsed in the Bronx. And then I was, like, I was about to tell Giovanni, like, I think this building is not secure. <laughs> I was gonna say this building is not secure. Like we have to think about that because I'm looking at my mom over there. That's why I'm like looking off the camera. But I was just like, this building is not secure. It's one of those old buildings because if we could feel it shake, and they're also doing construction behind, like building a brand new building, like every day consistently. So I really thought that was it. But it felt different because I felt that motion. Normally, when you feel something rumble, like a a heavy truck, it's like. For literally nanoseconds this one felt kind of long i'm surprised you didn't feel nothing did alex say he y'all yeah, were literally driving? driving thing was when that happened i was i didn't think anything of it i just thought like oh i'm about to tell giovanni like this building is old like we honestly have to leave and so i i got in the shower i did my shower and then i came out to the phone i got missed call from titi giovanni messages like the group chat the girls did giovanni feel it? he said no and when we lived in the old apartment i was laying down i think it was a crazy thunder remember the thunder that shook the new york city it was that and i felt that in the bed i w and i literally thought like this was it both times i was like this is it you got I just finished reading the Bible before you came here. I I literally was like Well the eclipse is on Monday. So and that's what everyone's saying. New York City is not prepared for disaster. You go on Instagram, jokes, memes, like, okay, yeah, all jokey jokey. Yeah, and it's because we never have sustained something like New that. York is not serious you for nothing. Seen. And his and his he turned seven months on Monday. And then making a big deal about this eclipse. I don't know about nothing, but it's my son's seven month. Monday? Monday. Oh yeah, and welcome to another vlog. I didn't do my regular intro. Thank you guys for tuning in. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. All right, so we are walking to... <laughs> We're walking to Soho. It's so windy out. I took the new stroller. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram. I posted that his new travel stroller came. Um, so I'm taking it out for a spin. Super lightweight. The only thing is that he's facing the world. So I don't really like that. I can't see him yet. But this is a travel one. So we're going to use it like when we travel and when it's the summer. Baby, how you doing? Yeah, we're heading to Soho right now. It feels like winter, you guys. So frustrating. I only want to go to one store, GU. Um, I just want to find some like basics for like spring. Um, but yeah, I only plan on going to that store and then that's it. So I'm looking for like, um, yeah, these are nice. Like, I feel like a shirt like this I could use so much. Oops, sorry. sorry. Need help at finding anything? Um, no, I'm just browsing right now. Okay. Thank you. So I feel like a shirt like this I can use a lot. Like, get a small. Have these colors.
I only have small. getting some gelato. I got some stuff from GU. I'll show you guys when I get home. So yeah. They don't have banana? Just ask them. Hi. what I got from GU. I got this like white crop and like you can cinch it at the waist. It's kind of like one of these. So it's supposed to give boxy and then really tight. So I think this is a really good staple piece that um, I could wear many ways, many different outfit. Like you just can't go wrong with like a white top. And this was $9.90, which we love that. And then I got another white top. This one is like more of a linen material. And then it's like um, collared structure, button down. And then it is um, like cropped as well with a little pocket. This, I feel like it kind of serves the same purpose as that, but like it's a little bit more dressy and a little bit more elevated. That one, this one was $29.90. Um, and then I got these like pastel pink cargo pants. Um, they're not cargo pants because they don't have any pockets on the side, but it's like um like that type of material, like a khaki um jogger material, and then it has like a a stitch detail down the middle and then at the ankles you have this like um you have this little tie thing so you can make it into like a jogger fitted vibe but i probably won't do that i'll just try to like leave it straight out um so i could give like a flare effect i got it extra small and um these were where's the tag these were like 30 yeah these were 39.90 and then i want to try these barrel pants style these um they didn't have an extra small i feel like an extra small would have definitely fit better um, but they're supposed to be the barrel style pants for $39.90. Let's just try it on. Honestly, these fit really good at the waist. Extra small would have been too tight. But, like, everything, they're too long. So, I don't know if I should return these because by the time I have to pay to get them tailored, I feel like I could probably just get my money back and find a jean that'll fit because if I tailor it and I cut it off I'm kind of cutting off the, the illusion of the barrel you know what I mean they fit really really nicely on the waist none of that going on let me try the pink ones might as well still pretty big at the bottom they're a little bit more fitted at the waist but these are like And you can adjust the, the waist too, I think. These I'm not mad at. They're a little bit too long at the bottom. I don't know how I feel about it, but most likely I'm going to keep them. I think it's like a nice pink, pastel pink color for more spring when it gets warmer out. So I'm definitely going to have to tailor both these pants. Yippee. Everything total, I got four items and everything came out to... 11970. Are you just making spit bubbles? Cause that's yucky. Even like wearing the sweater with like these pink pants, I think will look cute. Like I could just wear these like ah this is stabbing me. I could just wear this with a lot. Um 
but these fit me so nice at the waist like very comfortable so yeah i'm just gonna have to tailor the bottom and this will give like that flare that flare effect which is fine i guess hey guys um so date night is not going how we expected it to just because like we went somewhere first and then by the time like it came back like to rush and the the reservations were at four the thing is it's like it's like a dressy date night so i was like let's just save this for another day and we're still dropping able off right now um giovanni's dropping them off at my mom's um but we're gonna go to like more of a casual type restaurant and I'm trying to find, like, on Groupon, like, have a massage. I want to get a massage, like, after we eat because my body's been shot. I found one on Groupon, um, but I really want to see if they have any appointments today to do it. So, let's just place the order. Um, getting your order ready. So, I'm just going to call the spa to see. We're going to head to some Asian place. Um, Giovanni said, like, he's been wanting to try some Bushwick. Um, and my battery's dying, so I'm just gonna vlog the rest of the day on my phone. It's just, like, things like this that just don't go according as planned when you have a kid. And, like, I'm just honestly tired as well. It's really hard to just plan a day for us. Um, just because we're, like, always on the move. It's always, like, tired. It's always nonstop. Even to, like, yeah, like, we're a little bit giving attitude to each other. So it's just, like... To save our relationship, we have to go on these dates. Appointment required. Okay. I'm going to call this spa place and see. Hi. I literally just placed an order on Groupon for a voucher for me and my fiance. Is it possible today if we could come in for a massage, like both at the same time, like couple massage? Okay. What time is you coming? Um, What times do you have, like available after i would say like five o'clock 5 p.m yeah we are available this at five no do you have available after five oh, after, yeah we do what time is your name um maybe like six o'clock six thirty okay for two people one hour massage okay? it, i bought the um let me tell um, you exactly what i bought i bought the 90 minute deep tissue massage with hot stones okay sure i'll see you at six p.m for nice minutes uh, the massage to people perfect do you need my name i have a phone number okay you okay answer? okay see you later. thank you so much thank you very much see you later. amazing i'm looking forward to this massage more than fucking dinner i'm telling you like i'm talking shit about you okay <laughs> i booked the massage good for six it's too soon how? If the thing is at 3.45, 3 to 4, 4 to 5. Should I call? Tell them what time. I guess that'll work. This is just like rushing again. I told you. So should I call and tell them what time? No. What time do you tell? Tell me what time. So you're not rushing. It's at 6.30. Closer to 7. So 7 o'clock. That might be... I don't know. That's fine. Then I guess it'll work. What will work? Let me get my... What will work? Seven or six thirty? Just, I'm pretty sure you could just call me. Like, hey, we're gonna be at the six thirty. We're not rushing. We are very late. I told Alright, but if they close in at five, I'm not trying. They're not closing at five. Turns out we're just hangry. <laughs> we're good again. It's okay. All that shit, I bet. That's all good. I'm going to get you back. It's okay. Right. I'm going to eat good. I'm going to have a nice massage. Yeah, I'm going to might get a Vince's shirt. And you see how we feeling. You can't tell me nothing. Get a you can't mess up no mood. I get a Vince's shirt. You can't mess up no mood. Um, I'm going to leave the camera in here because the battery is already like... Done, so I'm gonna make it dark and it's not fire.
Granite juice, homemade joint. Double, double season. It's kimchi in there, you know what's that? Yeah, continue. <laughs> now we need a sign of sweet. I don't love it though. Let you got that. he got chocolate. I'm not a chocolate girl. I'm a vanilla girl. Mmm, that chocolate hits. So we did chocolate and vegan cookie butter. It tastes like cinnamon. Right? Almost like a like a like a sugar cookie. Yeah. Or, like, um, yeah. I, I like forgot it. where we got one from, from before and it tasted like a little cinnamon. All right, let me see that. You could eat you it right here. in the middle, bro. You got it all over here. Oh. Yeah, no chocolate on there. Down under. What time is it? Wow. So, you made me move the reservation, bro. We Call couldn't back. just 6 o'clock. We're just going to show up at 6. Okay. The food was pretty good at the Korean restaurant. I would say the chicken needed to be a little bit more well done because I don't like slimy chicken. Or, yeah, like it could have been a little bit more crunchy. Mm. But their flavors and everything was crazy. really good. Um, the rice the chopped cheese rice cake was very different i never ate something like that and that it was fine. really good it was like almost like pasta but the pasta texture was really different yeah. it was like very thick and spongy and i never it had rice it. Those are rice noodles that's why oh but i liked it and like the sauce and the meat was good and then the burger the burger was good too the burger was good it was very uh it was very flavorful yeah because they had like this yellow orange sauce yeah they got the kimchi in it there's a couple things. The pickles give it flavor, though. You, I, mean, I ate it. I took a bite with the pickles. It was like I don't sweet like joints. Nah, they hit. It just like all the flavors together. It was just a good combo. And then we wanted to try the dessert there, but like, I wasn't feeling it. When we get to the massage place. I just booked this place, so if you've seen it look crazy and stuff, I just booked it on the fly, on Groupon. Good deal. 90 minutes. I'll take it. I just need them to my back, you know? <laughs> I just need a little in my back. Mm -hmm. I was telling Giovanni like not we all got no personality outside of Abel because she um like what who are we outside of him? He feels so. I'm not I'm not cool without him. I'm nothing without my son. <laughs> my <laughs> son. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we just pulled up. We're about to get the massage. That's what I've been looking forward to. I don't think it was like a little beverage, yo. Yeah. I'd be liking it. A little water. A little something, right? 25, 36. I need to use the bathroom. Not the blurring filter, but. Oh, look, at this time, payment is not accepted or required. Huh, look at God. All right, we gotta get our massages on. I'm excited. What they said. 
so much needed catch you guys in an hour. How you feel? Good. You need that. Ooh. It feels light. He fell asleep. <laughs> it's light. You was talking and I wasn't responding? Yeah, it should be like, um, is that okay? So and and you going. wouldn't respond. Morning! We are heading to swim class! Our first day of swimming lessons. Okay, let's go. It's super early. It's like 8.30. Classes start at 9. So, so excited. His first swimming class lesson is today. Really looking forward to how he's going to react in the water because he likes bath time. But there was a time where like water kind of got up his nose and his face and he was a little bit startled. So I want to know because I think you have to like dunk them under the water. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to also vlog on my phone just because I don't want like parents to look at me and see a camera and think like I'm filming their kids. It's like more acceptable when they see like my iPhone. They're like, okay, she's just recording. <laughs> They're just recording on their phone. Right? Yeah, but I think it's like when they see a camera, they're just like, parents, I don't want them to like, you know, so I'm just going to do it on my regular phone. Shut up, this boy. Oh, they got the farmer's market today. Say, I'm, I'm excited for my lesson, yeah. And look at his little cracks today, you guys, I threw them on. Oh coming off. But yeah. I got my Uber driver here. Mm -hmm. I stop, I stop. <laughs> Going to swimming. Look here, someone's ready. Are you ready for swim class? Yeah. What happened? You see all the kids swimming? today some tears it was a little fussy but from what i'm hearing from the parents like their first time this automatically they're gonna cry a little bit there was another 11 month old girl there and she was fussy as well it was like you could totally tell who were the first two first swimmers of the day and then all the other babies they were so chill they were like enjoying it having fun so it's all about just getting him used to it so i'm pretty good I'm pretty glad we're starting him at like seven months doing this um, just so he could get used to it and when we go to the pool like in the summer he won't be you know so shocked and taken aback by the pool right now we are heading to cafe Lulu we're gonna meet my mom and the crew just some good Sunday breakfast because um, I'm starving yeah, should be a really chill rest of the Sunday. Thank you. I found a penny. <laughs> he goes like, hey. Gonna be making a lot of noise. 
<laughs> so it's a while sometime later we ended up coming to Astoria Park got some Mexican food just relaxing enjoying the Sun hi the solar eclipse day um, I don't know about y'all but it's my son's seven month okay so that's what my Monday is I just finished um, making his little sign I put time flu I'm um, seven months because I have this onesie that has like planes and helicopters so yeah see that that correlation um, I didn't find so much for seven months like any cool sayings I did see like the time flu on Pinterest so I was like hmm, okay I think I have like a onesie with some planes on it so but yeah once we do that I already gave him a bath I gave him breakfast I want to do that real quick and then put him to take his first morning nap a brand had reached out to me that they wanted to do a little cute photo shoot for like their Mother's Day campaign um, so hopefully everything goes well with that I want to find something to wear um, for that I think I just want to like walk to Soho real quick go to H&M and maybe see if I could find something um, so the vibe I'm trying to go for I'll tell you guys later like let me do one thing at a time um, so let me take these pictures really quick um, put him down for his nap and then I'll catch him with you guys real quick um, but yeah and I need to like do my hair I put like patano oil and everything so my hair stinks like hot fresh coffee like it smells if you use but you know it smells um because i want to wash my hair when i like blow it out so okay you guys of course you come with a coffee got you soon. all right you guys so i actually ended up taking able to see his pediatrician just because he's been so congested for the past week so i just wanted to get some clarity um to see if everything's okay with that she said not to worry um just keep doing what i've been doing so right now i'm just gonna walk to soho to see if i can find like a, a nice little outfit for tomorrow's photo shoot um it's so nice out today so i figured let me just walk straight from his pediatrician to soho um so i want to be quick i don't want to be long out i'm just kind of get the first thing I really see to be honest um, and just work with whatever I find so I'm gonna catch you guys in whatever store I end up at Guys, has a little windbreaker on little nice sweatsuit some light some light I never did like a pinstripe suit like this I don't know if I like that the pants are like really fitted like they fit good you know what I mean these will be like good for the summer but i don't know if i like it. the top is extra small yes these are um little girls and they fit i feel like these are like you know they're so comfortable too i guess spring we'll see just about anything we're on some green baggy out the house vibe little quick pit stop before we go home some swing action Yee! up you guys um so i just finished blowing up my hair um for tomorrow abel's here trying to stand on the table i want to stand he uses the table as like his little he helps him stay sturdy he cannot stay still and he cannot not stand like he loves to stand like any chance he get, he'll like lean on something 
for support to stand. Um, so yeah, I just finished blowing out my hair so it's nice and fresh for tomorrow and I could just have a nice fresh blow up for the week. Um, I'm gonna throw on a quick top right um, I'm about to just throw on a quick top and me and Giovanni are going to sing him happy seven months. Every month I get like a little cake and we just record ourselves singing like happy month day. Um, cause I know you guys seen like those videos where people just like do that every month and just until up until their first birthday. So that's kind of like what I've been doing ever since he's been one month. Um, and so far the video like it's so it's so emotionally happy sad because just seeing him grow like i want to stop time but like i'm just so proud of him and how much he's accomplished and how much he's grown and he's just he's so perfect in my eyes um yeah i just yeah, it's just so emotional just to know, like, seven months ago, I gave birth. Seven months ago, I became a mom. Seven months ago, me and Giovanni, like, our lives changed forever. Like, our relationship, us as people, um, us as a couple. And it's been a lot of ups and downs. It's been a, a hell of a roller coaster journey. Um... But I wouldn't change it for the world. I'm so happy God made him my son. And I'm his mom. And, you know, I'm just so in love with him. Um, my love for him grows every single day. Like, more and more and more. And I didn't think that would be possible to love someone. And feel that unconditional love. Like, he's pushed me so much. More than any career, any friend, any partner any what well, you know Giovanni like any other person could ever like motivate me like I owe it to my son you know he's helped me reach a lot of you know accomplishments that I couldn't do it without you because of you you helped mommy so much and you didn't even you didn't even get to one year um, so yeah, so we're gonna sing him happy birthday and I'm gonna enjoy some cake. Good morning guys. It is Tuesday. It is about like 1030. Um, I'm currently getting ready to head out to a little shoot we're doing. Um, Abel's taking a nap so I'm able to, you know, focus on me and get my makeup and hair ready. Um, I want to focus on myself and then once I am done, probably wake him up so he is nice and energized for this shoot. I am so happy that today it is going to be a high of 70 degrees. So perfect day um, for photos, perfect day to just head out with no worries, you know. I ended up not liking what I bought from Zara like I'm putting everything together and I just really don't like it I'm just gonna end up using like the green top with some like denim shorts like jorts and like the gold flats um it is what it is I don't want to like think too hard into it because you know what I mean like it is what it is um, so we're just gonna wear that it's giving casual it's giving comfy um, and then Abel, I'll show you guys Abel's outfit. It definitely, Abel's outfits is always just better than anything. Like, his outfit eats all the time. Um, okay, I'm not mad at it. I'm actually, I did something different. I used this Lancome, um, concealer as the first base. And then I'm putting the NARS Creamy Concealer in the color Ginger medium too and ginger um just try something out just because i want to really blur out my under eyes that's really my main issue is like my under eyes like i just want it to be bright because i feel like i have how like darkness there but so far i'm not loving it um 
So yeah, and then I'm gonna just like re-flatten my hair, like the roots and stuff. You guys, when I have like something due, like I feel like I'm like always anxious with time. Like that's my thing, is the anxiety with time. Like I just don't feel like I be having enough time. Like, but that's why I always get ready like three hours ahead. Like I was prepping since morning, but I was able to get everything done. I was able to clean up, give Abel breakfast. I ate a little bit of breakfast. Um, I made myself like egg and cheese on toast. Had some fruits with it. But yeah, I was just on focusing on getting ready for the shoe because I ended up, yeah, like I don't like what I bought. So I'm gonna end up returning that Zara set you guys saw me buy, like the pinstripe one. Because I just, I knew it, but it's just like I was forcing it. Like the. Oh my god, it smells. put this much heat in my hair in a while so it's okay i'll make some special occasions i just don't want no frizziness you know okay let's get dressed um i'm gonna show you the final outfit like me and Abel because i want to just make sure i'm gonna do everything twice again <laughs> all right so don't mind the mess we I'm gonna go with this vibe. I'm cutting the Zara green top and then I'm throwing on some jorts and then I'm gonna throw on the little gold flap and I'm gonna have my little white um, Japanese bag that says Desi Sheet going on and then I just threw on some, you know, beaded bangles that are green, some green gold rings. And then let me show you guys Abel's outfit. It's gonna match me perfectly. Someone just woke up from their nap. So he's gonna wear this little number from Old Navy as the green. And then I'm gonna throw on his New Balances. And it's perfect because it has a little touch of green. So this would be really cute. Good morning, sleepy head. <laughs> All right, so I made it to the meetup spot. I'm trying to do like a little outfit of the day TikTok. Look how adorable Papa looks. Hi. It is so freaking nice out, you guys. I can't, I can't believe it. Um, yeah, I want to do like those outfit of the day TikToks that I used to do, but the black is kind of, the black is hot. The black is hot, so trying to see because people keep walking by and I have a stroller so I gotta get like a better view let's see sorry I'm trying to do like a outfit of the day vibe Right, so I'm with everybody. Do you live around here? Or do you yeah, I live in like a 20 minute walking distance. Yeah, we can put everything in this bag. Yeah, so okay. Yeah. Why not? Mm -hmm. 
the it's switch. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. Light and fine. Yeah. Should they even poke out a bit? Should they look intentional? Well, well, if you wanted to like fall forward, you know what I mean? Like yeah. to have it. If it's light, so it could be like more like that when I hold it. Yeah, this looks great. It's super yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, yes. Oh, your camera's so cute. Thank you. <laughs> You guys want to walk that way or? Uh, yeah, or wait till she sees. Let's wait. Yeah. She, yeah, sometimes. She got the eye. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Let me see. I think we should she, like, shoot this way. Or that way? <laughs> I don't want that. No. <laughs> So I walked all the way from Soho to the seaport. It was like a 30 minute walk. Um, just because it's so nice out, I just don't want to go out back home. Um, I'm about to like change his pamper really quickly. Um, and then I'm gonna go by the water. I'm gonna feed him some like food. I know there's a spot where maybe we could lay out, touch grass with our feet, because it's really hot. Um, I like took all his shoes off. Yeah, it's like really nice. But the shoot was so fun. The girls were so cute. I felt so comfortable. I was like in my zone. Abel behaved so good. I'm so happy. I can't wait to see how everything turns out. They're gonna edit everything. So it's for like a Mother's Day, you know, um, content shoot vibe. So, so yeah. Um, I'll catch you guys. Let me change it real quick. So hot. We're about to get out. We're about to get out. Look at the helicopter. You out of school? I have a, a doctor's appointment. They're gonna.
Okay, you guys, so I got home maybe like almost 30 minutes ago. I just took all my clothes off, threw on a robe. I put on Miss Rachel because I need a second. Like, I walked so much today. My feet are like throbbing. I didn't pack socks. So I was like out here with these Marcellas on with no socks. So that leather was just rubbing on my little toes. My back, pushing that stroller. Thank God he fell asleep for um, half the walk back um, home. So I let him watch. I'm letting him watch Miss Rachel because leave me alone right now. <laughs> I just reheated some leftovers from yesterday's dinner. Yeah, just waiting for Giovanni to get home. I'm just going to relax for the day. Maybe later. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll go and get some ice cream because it's definitely like nice out. Um, just take a nice family walk with all three of us. But if not, I'm just calling it a day. Um, and I think I'm just going to end the vlog here. Just want to thank you guys for tuning in and watching and hanging out with us for a couple of these past few days. And thank you guys enough for every like, every follow, every comment. Nothing ever goes unnoticed. I'll catch you guys in the next video.